letter of the day. I need some sort of catchy theme tune, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to do this. Do, 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 do. Hi, I'm Five Minute Mum. I wanted to just do a quick video to explain what a letter of the day is so I can talk you through all the little bits and pieces to do with it on a proper long video. So for those of you that don't know, my little one is starting school in September. Ah! I know lots of you are in the same boat. I know some of you Scottish and Irish parents have got kids starting even sooner in August. So I wanted to do something across the month of August that kind of gets them ready, gets them warmed up, ready for school. So I came up with letter of the day because 26 letters, roughly a month, um, and I thought we can do one every day, do a little bit of fun around them. So my bag is five minute games for the kids. So I thought we could do a little bit of five minute fun each day with a letter. And then by the time that my little one goes to school, he will have covered the entire alphabet. There was some talk this week from Damien Hines, the Education Secretary, about how lots and lots of children across the country aren't ready for school. Well, we can't sit around waiting for the government to sort that out because they just ain't gonna. So us mummies and daddies and other people that look after little ones, it's up to us. So I thought if I do this, it's free, anyone can watch it any time. Your kid might be starting school this year or next year and it's just a fun way to introduce the alphabet and then we're going to do some counting games too over on my Instagram and Facebook pages across the month as well. This is how we're going to do it. So you need to find something first of all that has got the entire alphabet on it and it can be anything. So we're using these little magnetic letters from Early Learning Centre, Mother Care I think. Um, but you can use anything. So got a set of Scrabble at home, get the Scrabble letters out, they're fine, just make sure you get the whole alphabet. Got one of these light box thingy bobs, they've got the letters on, again get all the letters in the alphabet, put them all together, anything. If you don't have anything, it doesn't matter. Just get a piece of paper or a piece of card and write the alphabet out. One letter per piece, cut it out and you're done. Don't need to buy anything. The second thing is you need is a bag. So we're using like a shiny gift bag that we've just got knocking around the house from a present somebody gave one of us. Um, you can use anything, a drawstring PE bag, you can use a a Sainsbury's carry bag if you want to, it doesn't matter, kids won't care. Just put all your 26 letters of the alphabet into a bag. And then finally, you just need a place to display your letter of the day. Again, it can be anywhere. It can be if they're magnetic and your fridge isn't magnetic, put it on a radiator or put a baking tray against the wall somewhere. We're doing it on our fridge. You can do it on a doorway, on a wall, just a little place, a corner of your playroom or anywhere in your house, it doesn't matter. Have something, so we're using post-its, something that they can write and draw on. So I bought these funky post-its in Nasda, um, but you can use, if you've got one of these squiggly pads, ooh, I fell on my head then, um, to draw it on, or I know lots of people have got lots of other things. They get their bag, they choose a letter out, and then they show you that letter and you put it in the place that you've decided. What you need to talk about is what I'd say, you can do it any way you want, but what I say is the letter name, so ours today was F, so I will tell you and that is an F, and then we talk about the sound, so this, the sound the letter F makes is a F sound, and I'm going to come on to why I do that a bit later. So you've got your letter of the day, it's F, and so what I do is on one post-it I write a capital F, explain to you, and it's a, it's a capital, it's a big F. He copies on his post-it. Then on another post-it, I write a lowercase F, again, say to him, it's still an F, it's just a smaller one, and he does the same copies on his post-it. And then the last post-it, we talk about the sound the letter makes, so this F makes this sound. Can we find something in the house that starts with or has that sound in it, can we hear it? So, off we go. Running around the house. At this point, you need to give lots and lots of clues because kids won't be able to do this yet. This is stuff they're gonna learn in reception. 
um, it's quite tricky, it's very t hard. So the best thing I can do, say to you to do is to give them choices. So if you, if you can see something with a letter on, say, I can see two things. Um, I can see a hat and a frame. Which one do you think has the f sound in it? And then really emphasize it. So is it hat or frame? To your child, give them a 50-50 chance. And if they get it wrong, just say, it's not that one, ask again, is it a hat or a frame? And then by powers of deduction, they will get it right and then you can celebrate, yay! Let's go and draw that on our last pad so that the sound and the image connect in their head. That sound f -f connects with an image that they are drawing. Right, we've got to choose a letter of the day. Ah. And we're going to do one every day until you start school. <laughs> right, shut your eyes, put your hand in, and choose your letter of the day. What have you got? What one have you got? <gasps> Watch Mummy. Right, we're going to do a capital F. So we go a line, line, and across. Can you have a go? But it has a slick Oh, that's a small F, isn't it? We're going to do that one next. So we're doing this one like Mummy first. That's a capital, a big F. Well done, you win. That's super. Now is the tricky bit. We've got to try and find something in the house that begins with this sound. Can you do it? And that's the sound that F makes. Are we ready? Yeah. Steady. Go, let's go and find something. Do you think a hat begins with a f sound? No. No, me <laughs> neither. Let's find something else over here. Do you think a star starts with a f sound? No. No. Hmm. Let's have another look at something else. Hmm. What about this? This is a frame. Does that start with a f sound? Yeah! Yeah, it does! <laughs> a frame for our pictures. We found something. So now what we have to do is we have to go and draw a picture of a frame on the last post-it. Okay? Mummy. So what does a frame look like? What shape is it? Square. A square. Come on then, let's go and draw a square. <laughs> there you go. He's drawing a frame. So that's it, letter of the day. And let me know if you're playing, let me know what letters you get, send me a picture, send me your videos. I love to see it all. I will share as much as I can across my uh, social media pages so that we can all join in and feel like we're all getting ready for school together. I'm going to do two more videos today. One is going to explain why I do capitals, why capitals and lowercase and why I say the letter names and the sounds differently. It will explain all of that and a third video will be our letter of the day.